Hello friends, this video on photosynthesis in higher plants part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have understood how this the discovery of photosynthesis took place, let us quickly jot down the overall equation of photosynthesis. So this is the overall reaction of photosynthesis, a balanced equation. CO2 plus H2O gives C6H12O6, which is nothing but glucose plus water plus H plus O2. So this is the overall reaction of photosynthesis. So here carbon dioxide changes to glucose by reduction. Water gets oxidized to form oxygen, that is oxidation, and this process takes place in presence of sunlight. It happens only in those parts of the plant which contains chlorophyll. And what does this chlorophyll do? Chlorophyll is a pigment which helps to absorb the specific wavelengths of sunlight. Now which portion of the sunlight is absorbed? The red and the blue regions of the visible light. And that is why it reflects green color, therefore the plant appears green. So this was the this is the overall equation of photosynthesis. Now this photosynthesis now, this process of photosynthesis is a multi-step process. The equation which you see here is looks quite simple. I mean, you might be thinking by now that, okay, by now I know, I know what is the process of photosynthesis. I know its equation as well. So, why do we need to spend so much of time understanding photosynthesis in so much detail? That is because here the equation which you see, it doesn't happen. In reality, it doesn't happen in one step. So, it is a multi-step reaction. There are many steps involved in Inside this reaction. The reactant doesn't combine to form glucose directly. There are many more steps involved. So we are going to talk about each of those steps involved in the process of photosynthesis. So we are going to talk about the process in detail. How carbon dioxide gets reduced to glucose. Similarly, how oxygen is produced. How and where at what step oxygen is produced. How the energy is produced, like as I said, the energy which is required for this reaction to take place is provided by sunlight. So how is that energy getting produced? So we are going to talk about all those minute details. So now uh, the question is, where does photosynthesis occur? Now as I have mentioned this, in, as was mentioned or as was observed from the early experiments that photosynthesis should occur in the green parts of the plant because everywhere it was seen that chlorophyll plays an important role and chlorophyll is present only in the green parts of the plant. So we will try to understand where exactly in the chloroplast. Chloroplast was the cellular organelle which contained chlorophyll. So we will try to understand the structure of chloroplast and we will see where exactly in chloroplast the different steps of photosynthesis take place. Now another question, the most important question is how does photosynthesis take place? So we will try to understand the process of photosynthesis step by step. Before that we will try to understand where it occurs. For that we need to understand the detailed structure of a chloroplast. So let us first see where does photosynthesis take place. A photosynthesis occurs in the green part of a plant. Now the first thing that comes to mind when you think about the green part of a plant is the leaves. Right? The leaves appear green and that is why the plants as a whole appear green. Now try to think about the structure inside a leaf. So what is there inside a leaf? It is made up of many cells. So what are those cells? They are nothing but the plant cells. Now if you look at the anatomy of a dicot leaf in detail, this is how it will look like. These red color structures which you see here, these are the epidermis, two layers of epidermis. In the middle you have this mesophyll layer. This layer is called mesophyll. The mesophyll layer again consists of two layers of parenchyma cells. This is palisade parenchyma. 
which are stacked side by side and this is spongy parenchyma with lot of intercellular spaces in between. Here you have the vascular bundles that is the xylem and the phloem which help in conduction. They bring in water, minerals and food material to the leaf. So these are the vascular bundles. So we have studied about this anatomy of a dipod leaf in one of our previous lessons. So if you look at this, you see that in the mesophyll layer, chloroplasts are present. And this is how a chloroplast look like. It is a double membrane structure. So these are the two membranes of the chloroplast, outer membrane and inner membrane. Now inside this chloroplast is present the pigment chlorophyll. And because of the presence of this pigment chlorophyll, the process of photosynthesis takes place because chlorophyll helps to absorb the light energy. So when you talk about a plant cell, because inside the plant everywhere there are plant cells. So this chloroplast is actually a cell organelle of the uh, plant cell. You see here you can see the chloroplast inside the plant cell. Now it is not necessary that the process of photosynthesis will only take place in leaves. It can take place in any part of the plant which has chlorophyll. For example, there are some plants where the roots are photosynthetic in nature or the stems are photosynthetic in nature because they contain chlorophyll. So any part of the plant which has chlorophyll because of which they appear green can enable the process of photosynthesis. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.